Hey, yeah, folks. All right, I want to run through a bit of stuff to kind of get everybody set for the final exam. Um, so I'll try and run through a bit on the, the topics, question styles, um, a few things that are different this year than the way things have run in the past if you're looking at old exams. So we'll just try and go through a bit of a summary here and see where we get to. All right, um, usual idea, the final exam covers everything for the course. So anything that could have cropped up uh, can appear on the final exam pretty much. Uh, this time around, it's going to be from 7 a.m. to midnight that it's available, um, rather than the 7 till 7, so just because it's a three-hour beastie and it's a final exam, figured we'd make it a little bit more accessible. Uh, let's see, so that's on the 21st. Uh, the official time slot is, I think, the 9 to 12 on that morning, but again, the the um, final exam will be ready for or ready and available from 7 a.m. to midnight that day. Um, take it in any three-hour slot there. Uh, usual sort of rules. It, you know, you've got a five-minute grace period after the uh, after the midnight deadline, but anything after that doesn't get marks. Um, if something goes wrong, again, as with the quizzes, if, if there's some kind of a reason why you can't complete or can't complete on time or can't take it, just make sure you get in touch with me and we'll figure something out. Usual idea, we might have multiple versions of some questions and uh, orders might not be exactly the same for everybody, but again, the goal is to have the content pretty much equivalent for everyone. So I'm trying to aim this at uh, giving folks a little bit more time flexibility than on the quizzes. Uh, it's set up as 10 questions, 10 marks each. I'm hoping to get the timing at about 15 minutes a question, which should give folks, in theory, a sort of half hour-ish to, to play with in terms of going back and going over stuff. So hopefully it's not quite as rushed as some of the quizzes. Uh, usual question styles. A uh, mix of theory and discussion, um, you know, some C, some C++, some Lisp, some pseudocode. Uh, so a little bit of everything in there. As far as the topics go, I think the, the topics list that we went through in the wrap-up lecture was probably pretty representative. Um, so if you pop over to the slides, for instance, for the course wrap-up. Again, we tried to run through... Uh, where are we here? Starting around the fourth slide. Uh, just going through the key topics from each of the different areas that we went through and looked at. So I think that's actually a pretty thorough overview of the topics we've covered. Again, it's pretty much everything on the course, and I'm going to try and get those 10 questions to cover most of the core areas that we've looked at. Um, again, we're trying to aim for this to be a little less rushed than some of the quizzes have been. Now, in terms of getting ready for this and practicing and looking at old questions, obviously the quiz styles of questions that you've seen are a pretty good example of, of what to expect. Uh, you can certainly look at old final exams and old midterms for some of the questions that look more at across different topics where we try and do comparisons between C and LISP or C++ and LISP or where we try to tie together things on functional programming and things in object-oriented programming or whatever the combination might be. So I would recommend going through those uh, some of the, the old final exams to get a feel for the styles of question that can cross various topics. Um, the old final exams quite often were only sort of six to eight questions for a three-hour exam. So the questions on some of the older finals are a little longer than we're targeting for, uh, for this one. Um, and the other thing is, with the old final exams, we had a, a midterm and then the final. So the final emphasized things that came after the midterm. This year, since we've had six quizzes leading right up to, you know, about a week before uh, the term ended, we've got relatively the same assessment across most of the different topics. So the final exam this year will cover the whole course as opposed to mostly the second half of the course. So do keep that in mind. Don't uh, don't brush off your lisp or forget your lisp. 
Uh, let's see, in terms of availability, so the exam is on the Wednesday. I'll try to be available most of the day, Monday and Tuesday, if you want to go through material for uh, just practice or prepping or if you've got questions. And then, again, I'll try and be available most of Wednesday, the day of the exam. Um, up until about 4 o'clock, that shouldn't be a problem. But after 4, it'll be a little bit more sporadic. So the, the kind of 4 till midnight stretch, I'll be kind of off and on. But there might be stretches of a couple hours there where I'm not available. Um, in terms of the rules, again, it's the same idea as with the quizzes. Um, all work has to be your own. You have to cite anything that you uh, that didn't come out of your own brain or out of the, uh, the notes that I gave you. Uh, no communicating with anybody until the exam time period is over. Well, no, no communicating with anybody about the exam content uh, in the until the exam period is over, and so until midnight that Wednesday. And again, any form of communication. And the usual collection of help links if you need it. And again, if anything goes wrong, get a hold of me. You know, fire me an email, ping me on Discord, uh, and we'll figure it out. We can uh, and. Don't stress, we'll, uh, we'll find a way to make it work. I think those were the biggest things that I wanted to bring up. Uh, do go through some of the, the, the old final exam questions. Do get a feel for the kinds of things I'm likely to ask that uh, are a broader scope than just the individual quizzes or the things that are focused on just one topic area. But beyond that, uh, hopefully folks are in good shape and we'll see how we go.